The following example asks us to minimize a distance. Find the point on the curve y equals a half x squared that is nearest to the point 4 comma 1. So we're given a function. We're asked what is the closest point on the function to the point 4 comma 1. So closest means minimum, so we want to minimize the distance between this point and the function. That will tell us what the closest point on the function is. To do that, we need to set up our initial or primary equation, which is the item we want to minimize. In this case, it's the distance. So the distance formula, the distance between any two points, is the square root of x1 minus x2 all squared plus y1 minus y2 all squared. In this case, one set of x and y's is 4 and 1, so we could substitute those in. The other x and y's are here. Okay. So the distance between any two points, or between 4 comma 1 and a point on this curve, is given by, well, we can just call that x, and that'll be referring to this x, minus our second x value is here, 4. That's squared plus. Now our y value comes from this, so y is equal to half x squared minus our second y value comes from here, 1, all squared. So primary equation, replace it with secondary equation and given information. So we now can take the derivative because we only have one variable. So the derivative is a half, keep the part in brackets the same, squared plus a half x squared minus 1 squared all to the power of minus a half multiplied by the derivative of what was inside, which in this case is going to be 2 times x minus 4 times 1, but we don't need to worry about that, plus 2 times a half x squared minus 1 times x. That's the derivative of a half x squared. So there's our derivative. Now we should realize we have to make that equal to 0. So set the derivative equal to 0. Now that looks like it's going to be a lot of algebra, but if we look at it, and we, since this is a multiplication here, we can multiply the half through this bracket and cancel the twos. This part is going to come to our denominator, and we're going to write it that way. x minus 4 plus half x cubed minus x. Multiplying in there over x minus 4 squared plus half x squared minus 1 all squared and that's all to the power of a half. Now when we cross multiply the denominator is eliminated and we end up with 0 equal x minus 4 plus half x cubed minus x and we can see that the x and x are going to cancel and we end up with negative 4 which comes over everything gets multiplied by 2 so 8 equals x cubed or x equals 2 so there's 
our critical number, or our possible x value for our minimum. We plug that in, we can find y. So that tells us that y then is a half times 2 squared, which in this case is also going to be 2. So the point nearest 4 comma 1 on this curve is the point 2 comma 2. Okay. We can and in some cases should justify that this is indeed the minimum value. To do that, okay, I'll do it over here so we see it. One way is a first derivative test, which in case we choose x values around the critical number. So we take one smaller and one bigger, and we compare it to f prime values at those places. If we were to put 1 in here, we can see this is 1 minus 1 cancels. Negative 4 plus a half is a negative value on top. The bottom is a square root, so it's always positive. Negative divided by positive, we're going to get a negative value here, which tells us that the curve is coming down. If we plugged in 3, the, remember the x's are gone, we end up with negative 4 plus half of 27, which is 13 and a half. So negative 4 plus 13 and a bit is positive, so positive divided by positive is positive. And therefore the first derivative test tells us that as we change from 1 over to 3 through 2, we get this shape, which tells us for sure we do have a minimum at 2. So therefore, 2 comma 2 is nearest four comma one on the curve y equals half x squared.